Hi, I'm the rancher. And I'm the wife. Okay, well I'm gonna go check on the cows. This is calving season for the Scottish Highlands and Granny has been quite bagged up. She's our oldest cow and we've got one of her heifer calves here as well who's too young to be bred. But Granny's been bagged up, swollen vulva and her belly has gotten really low over the last couple weeks. So she's due to calf and I looked out in the field and I just saw the herd bull and some other heifers, but uh, Granny was nowhere to be seen. Okay, so we just got word from Todd that maybe Granny had her baby. So we're gonna go look in the woods for her. Todd couldn't find her, so he's gonna grab the drone and fly it around, and then we're gonna go in the woods where he can't fly and look for her. A lot of times when cows are not with their herd, that means maybe they're off having a baby. So let's go check it out. If I feed a baby and you don't we have stuff down we need the baby. Okay, let's find her. Come on, Cowboy Claw! Click click! Click click! Woo! Look at that cute boy! Okay, so we're scanning for Granny. You guys see her? Scanning for Granny or a baby cow? Okay, we're looking for a calf. Usually mamas will leave their calf in the woods and calves are so, so hard to find sometimes. They just blend right in. Whoever spots the baby cow gets the first cookie later. So let's see who's gonna find the baby cow. Oh yeah, so there is, there's Granny. She definitely has placenta coming down. Oh, it's still coming down. And then her, her milk bags are so big right now. So yeah. Looks like she's passing her placenta right now. I see her, I see her, I see her! Where? Where? Over there! <gasps> I don't even see her yet! Oh my goodness! I see her too! Okay, let's go check out that baby cow! Oh, she's so cute! Oh, fresh baby calf. The sweetest. Look how fluffy you are! You're so fluffy! You're so fluffy. Oh my god. No, no, no. Stay there. Stay there. It's so cute. So we don't want to really pet her or touch her too much or him um, yet because we want to make sure that the mama granny just accepts her and takes her as a baby and doesn't re reject her and like so we don't want to get our scent on her too much. Um, so we'll refrain from cuddling her and petting her for now. <laughs> Even though she's so cute and I just want to pet her. She wouldn't run away. I don't think no, she doesn't really know who, like, what's going on yet. Yeah, so she's not scared of anything. No, a eagle could though. Yeah, an eagle. Well, these cows are pretty big. Well, what about that adult deer? I bet it was the same like this. Well, I bet her mama will be tucked in. Yeah. A little close up of it, Ma. Hey, Mama. You did really good. That's a cute baby. That's a cute baby, Grandma. 
That's a cute baby. It's a girl! So very exciting news. We just saw her pee and she's a girl! So when they're girls, they pee from right under their tail and if they're boys, they pee from their boy parts, which is kind of near the belly area. So we saw her pee from her girl parts. Very exciting. Um, so we get to name her. What are we gonna name her? We're gonna name her Susan. So we're gonna name her Susan from Chronicles of Narnia. <laughs> we're very excited it's a girl because when they're girls, we get to keep them and name them. Muffy's very friendly. He's a very friendly bull. Such curly hair. Shirley's hey, way softer. Hey, Muffy. Shirley's way softer. You're a baby. Hi, Muffy. Hi, Hi Muffy. I know. I want to pet the baby, too. Hey, Muff. Oh, my gosh, she's trying to leave. <laughs> Daddy with the drone, which means he spotted us and the baby calf. We saying hi. Hi, yeah! There's Daddy. <laughs> ah! Daddy, hi! In early spring, we collect the spent hay from overwintering the cows and sheep. No farmer likes to see livestock waste hay, but knowing that every bit will be used when spring comes makes it better. This hay fell out of the round bell feeder and was stomped into the snow and manured over for months. And now, by spring, it has broken down enough, after a hard winter, to serve as our early season fertilizer. Some people don't like adding manure to blueberries because it can raise the pH of the soil. But we've had excellent results over the years with composted sheep and cow manure. Not only is it nutrient rich, but it's readily available on the farm here. Plus, cow manure also lends moisture to the soil, which we have always found blueberries love. So, we will stick to the manure, because for us at least, we have great results with it. 
In this particular berry patch, we have 60 blueberry plants, which we have planted over the years, and a trusty owl that sits proudly on an old stump keeps our delicious berries from being decimated by birds. We have intentionally built our winter housing area for sheep and cattle near our berry patches. So when spring comes, moving the spent hay over is only a short distance. Getting that carbon, that manure, get it around there, make for some happy blueberries. On a farm, we pretty much reuse everything. Like that right there, that's a toy holder, but it's also a mineral tub for cows. So once that mineral tub's emptied out, it becomes a toy bin. We don't chuck anything. Even this teeter-totter here was made with scrap wood laying around. Nothing fancy, but just put it together quick. Got some concrete stakes here for form boards. Has my nice handles and my hinge point. Works great. Doesn't have to be expensive. I even got a weight on the end to counterbalance a heavy kid. So we got this eight pound weight tied on there. And the string we use, well, that's hay string from a hay bale. So we'll use that. This here is from a bunk of lumber. These are the straps that hold it down. I always save these and right now they're handles on a teeter-totter. Got an old electrical spool here. This was holding four gauge wire. And now it's a table the kids draw at in the summertime. So we try to use everything around here. Keep the light daughter on the side with the weight and then the cowboy gets on the heavier side works great without that weight she can't balance it out but that eight pound weight works perfect jump a little higher colt oh. got a sheep checking it out you gotta jump higher colt Pretty well balanced out with that little weight on there. Not perfect, but for a real quick free teeter-totter, this thing's been a hit. And then when I need these stakes, when I'm doing some concrete forms or footings, I'll pull that stake and put it back. Yeehaw. <laughs> 